Hello, welcome to my show. Who the hell am I? Well, if you don't know, you may have seen me in Spelling Bee or The Lion and the Wiz, or on the electric company watching TV with your kids. But if you saw Memphis, how could you forget this? The smile, the smile, the fat, the blow. Welcome to the James Monroe Idle Heart Show. How am I doing? Pretty good. Sudi Ruth. Lord, Sudi Ruth. Sudi Ruth is everybody's favorite because Sudi Ruth is the child, and you see Sudi oh, Ruth the first time you see Sudi Ruth, Ruth is in the church. I love her. <laughs> I love Sudi. Ruth. Where did Sudi Ruth come from? Sudi, well, Sudi Ruth was my aunt's name, and so it's something very dear. Now, my aunt wasn't Sudi Ruth's character, but that was where the name came from. Sudi Ruth is just that awkward. I was awkward, you know, like I was that little kid who was like all over the place. I didn't really care what people thought. I wasn't trying to be cool. Sudi Ruth is not cool. She's not cool. She is so excited about life. And in the church scene, it's her very first time at the church singing with the choir. So that's why Sudi Ruth is so excited because she's been trying to get in the choir and she's not really that good of a singer. But because she's begged them for so long, they're like, okay, fine, we'll put you in the choir. So she is through the roof about being in the choir. And when you come see it, she is really excited. So when the little white girl shows up and the little white girl can sing, <laughs> Sudi Ruth is like, are you kidding me? I just got here the day was my first day in high school, girl, walking in, and she's about to take this spot. But then, you know, we're in church, so yes. eventually towards the end, Sudi Ruth is you like, You have to see it, because what the great thing about it is, there's a thing in theater where they say, take your moment. If you are not on your games, Dion will take your moment. I make sure I am on my my head's on the swivel every chance I got. Because if I if I lay low for a little bit, this girl is so good. It's damn ridiculous how good she is. You know I've told you this before. You are one of my favorite dancers to watch. Thank you. Because I mean your your skills are impeccable. The way you handle yourself. You're also our assistant dance captain. Yes. So I mean she also keeps us in line. You know gives us notes. Make sure we're there. But I mean, your characters are, are wonderful. And if any kids are watching, remember what she said about, she said she was not a cool person. As I said before, Dion has her own style, and her own style is so dope that now she is cool. Yeah, it took me Seriously. a Seriously. It took a second. The it girl, second, I mean, the, the stuff you come out wearing, boy, I'm like, <laughs> that's a Dion special. That nobody does well, that like you. Well, that's the thing, you know, like, I, you know, I never wanted to be like anybody else, you know, like growing up, I always wanted to have my own you know, place that I fit in, and I couldn't fit in with anybody else. Like, I wasn't I wasn't that kid that was like, ooh, I have the designer clothes or anything like that. So I was, like, at home, like, literally me and my mom are at home sewing. Like, you know, I come from that type of family where we were very, like, my whole family is very creative. And so it was, I always wanted to be different, you know? I like, that. I never wanted to be like anybody else. So we, we, we got the Tony. And you put us up. She actually is one of the people who rehearsed us for the Tony. Like I said, she's just dance captain. But you didn't get to be on the Tonys with us. Right. But although we were upset and sad about that, what were you doing that you couldn't be on the Tonys oh, with us, well, Dion? Well, you know, darling. Yes. Um, what were you doing? I had to go and do a feature film. Oh, my God. <laughs> I worked on three years ago before I got into Memphis yes. I was a dancer in this film and um, I met Hinton Battle and he kind of took me under his wing immediately and I worked very closely with him. Google Hinton Battle, legend, the Legendary. original Wiz, I mean one of the people in the original Wiz, Legendary. trust me, amazing. So. And he, we're actually from the same studio, me, him, Cheetah Rivera, Lewis Johnson, all of these. Seriously? Yeah, we're all from the same studio, right. Jones Haywood School of Ballet in DC and so when I met him it was like like I had finally fulfilled as a dancer. I was like, okay, I am dancing for Hinton Battle. Like this is my dream come true. Um, and then when we got to North Carolina and the director met a bunch of the dancers, he decided, you know what? I'm gonna take you seven girls and we're gonna put you in the movie. So what started out as three weeks of filming turned into five months in a, in like a featured you know part. Well, when he did that, it kind of shifted the story, and so now the story wasn't making sense the way it was supposed to in the script originally. So he had to go back in, rewrite the script, you know, futz here, futz there. And so he calls me and he's like, I want to give you a role in this film. And so I went from being one of the dancers, one of Buddy Bolden's muses, 
to being Buddy Bolden's nurse in his insane asylum. And basically the story is called Bolden, and it's about the very first jazz musician, Buddy Bolden. And yeah. he is credited as the father of jazz music by all great jazz musicians. Yeah. And he played the cornet. And he ended up in an insane asylum early on, like at the peak of his career, he ended up in an insane asylum. And I play his nurse in the insane asylum as well as one of his visions of him, and I'm the muse as one of his visions. So, oh, nice. so I went back to North Carolina this summer and I shot opposite Dick Gregory and Anthony Mackie for two and a half months. Let me repeat that. Dick Gregory, <laughs> Anthony Mackie. Yes. So, yes, you can feel sad that she wasn't a Tony for this. I don't feel sad at I all. Was sad. I don't I was feel sad. At home and I she was, was like, doing a movie. She sent a text to everybody. Oh, it's great to see you. We were like, you're in a movie. Yeah, but yeah, we love know. Dion, and when we and everybody was so excited when Dion came back. And here's something that you when I talk about keep your head in the swivel. I was talking to our musical director, and our musical director says, Yo, man, you know, Dion came back. And we have what you call a, uh, a, a rehearsal, not, not a rehearsal, but I mean a put in, so that she can kind of get her feet yeah. wet again. And my boy, musical director Kenny, walks up to me and he says, yo, Dion came in, and they said, do you want to run over it or just do it? D he said, Dion looked there, but I said, no, 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 let's, let's just do it. Let's and you it. did it full out. And I just want to say this right quick. <laughs> After that rehearsal, <laughs> the night Dion came in, it was like opening night, October 19, <laughs> 2009. The energy was so high because we had to match her. Her her foot went up that first time. We all went, well, damn, I guess we got to perform you know, tonight. In fairness, though, I haven't been here. And so my energy, had I had a chance to go and, like, you know, charge the battery, if you would. Yeah. And, I mean, like, doing the movie gave me the opportunity to be creative in a different kind of way than I've, like, really ever been. You know, yeah. like, I was really acting. I wasn't, I wasn't dancing that much in the film this second time around. So... It really gave me the recharge that I needed because that's kind of where I'm trying to take my career now. Yeah. Like, I'm a dancer. I love dancing. But I love acting. Yes. And that's what I'm working towards. And so it gave me the opportunity to do that. So when I came back, I was like, ready? What? I'm ready to go. Like, I'm all charged up. The it was batteries, slamming. You, know? you got to come and check out this show. Check out Memphis if you haven't seen it. If you have seen yes. it, come see it again. And you'll see some different things. This time, focus on Dion. You'll have Thank a great, you know, trust me, you'll have a wonderful time. So Dion, <laughs> Dion Figgins, thank you for thank being you. on the Jason Weigar Show. You, you have a little web show yourself? I do. Now, I have a little web show. It's called Real Talk with Figgins the Lip. And basically, it's exactly what it says. It's Real Talk with my alter ego. You'll see me doing my household duties. <laughs> it's wonderful, trust and me. And talking real talk. So it's for, it's, it's, it's grown up. Yes, it's, it's grown, grown up. up talk. You know, but it's it's the it's giving you what we really need to be talking about, like what's really going on. Like not it's not gloss over what's happening out in the world. Trust it's me, it's real talk. Issues, real talk. Darling, thank you for being on the show. You thank know I you. love you, and I had to interview you so everybody can know who thank you are. Thank you. I was waiting for my love. <laughs> well, this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being on the Jason Moore Eichelhart Show. This is Dion. Come check out our show. Yes. Peace till next time.